we find our characters, two of them, both William and Sebastian, in a car. Uh, they are heading from Arkham to Ipswich in order to um, go and join an evening with uh, Madame Inconnu, a very famous up-and-coming medium from Europe uh, who has an uncanny talent for predicting the future. And in one of her previous uh, engagements, she predicted that a young woman from Arkham was going to disappear under mysterious circumstances. And she has indeed subsequently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Uh, so Willem and Sebastian, for reasons that they will mention soon, are in a car together, heading towards um, Ipswich, where Madame Inconnu will be uh, delivering her final presentation in uh, North America before returning to Europe. And this will be the last chance to see her at work and also to determine uh, why or how she does what she does. Um, now, as you can hear, despite racing against the rain on your way northward, the storm has finally caught up with you in earnest. And with it, the night has fallen abyssal black and riven by lightning. Conditions on the rain-swept road force you to s your, your speed down to a virtual crawl so that your headlamps could pierce the gloom and keep you on the path. The only thing certain now is that the weather be is behind you is certainly worse than it is ahead. Uh, what should have been an eventless journey has become something of a dangerous and unpredictable travel. Uh, you are about an hour away from Ipswich on the road, somewhere between Arkham and Ipswich. Although with this weather, it may be that your um, travels will be delayed as, uh, a bit. As such, you did leave a little bit early, and so you do still have two hours to get to Ipswich before uh, Madame Inconnu starts uh, with her seance presentation. Why don't you go ahead, uh, Willem, and tell us again uh, how it is that you met Sebastian and are in the car together. So um, Shipley brothers, um, or Shipley and Shipley, are uh, representing the interests of Miskatonic University. Um, Madame Inconu has the other day private seance to uh, a wealthy donor to the university, and as a result, they have changed their world. Uh, the university is obviously concerned about this, and we are um, seeking to interview and uh, understand from Madame Inconu uh, the legitimacy of her art, shall we say, and to be able to bring that information uh, back to the individual who sat within that seance and enable them to make a more, um, shall we say, rational decision about what they're going to do with their bequest. Uh, Sebastian has his own interests, um, it's associated with the university and uh, would like to go and see Madame Canu for, for his own reasons, which I'm, I'm sure he will explain, but we have, we have kindly offered to, to give him um, a lift, shall we say. Excellent, uh, Sebastian. Uh, sorry, excellent. William, go ahead, Sebastian. William is quite right. right. I have my own reasons, mainly a pure curiosity. I'm in a well, well, I'm in Arkham for my own reasons. Most, mostly, I'm planning another book. The compa comparison of European, European, and American sporting events is probably not going to be well written, but well received. I hope. I hope. And I happened to bump into Woody Elm when he was leaving a presentation, and he seemed an all right fellow. And then he mentioned that he was on this tap task well, I've always been curious about mediums I've had many friends that I haven't gone to them since the war to get messages of loved ones or comrades well why not it seemed an interesting life better than sitting in the hotel room with a book 
quite right and and excellently said. So we are going to start. We're going to start with a roll, uh, and I would like uh, both Sebastian and Willem William to uh, do spot hidden rolls, please. Spot hidden. Yes. yes. Uh, this is while you're driving. It's it's very precarious. You're both straining your eyes ahead to try to see the road. The road is is quite dark. It is it is it is fogging up. The the rain is coming down. It's quite difficult to is see it, ahead. So just click on the number. Yeah. Uh, yes. Go ahead. Yes. There you go. Is it a, a standard or it difficult? It is standard. Or? Yes. Uh, okay, so, uh, and William, you are driving, correctly? Correct? Yes, I'll be driving, yes. Okay, all right. So, yeah, you're kind of uh, looking ahead. Um, and uh, go ahead, uh, let's just hear what uh, Sebastian was rolling. I out, uh, I roll a 28 out of 60. Excellent. Uh, okay. There. So, you notice, at the side of the road, somehow in the distance, we'll say uh, towards the left. So that would be towards the west. You see this 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 bright, shining light. And to you, you're, what's going through your head is that you see maybe a mirror uh, that somebody is, has shined a, a light on it. It seems like it's this, this just super bright white light in the distance between the trees, deep in the forest somewhere. And and as you kind of shout out, kind of like to uh, like, what, what, what's that over there? You notice that there's uh, there's this spark of lightning that comes down uh, somewhere around the area, and the light disappears. Uh, unfortunately for William, who's who's concentrating on his driving, you kind of distracted him when you kind of, you know, look out there, and uh, perhaps he just didn't notice uh, that uh, on the road. Um, it th does seem that there is uh, something that uh, that comes out on the road. Um, and so basically, uh, what you see, uh, William, at the very, very, very last minute uh, is something like this. And I will put it on our VTT uh, so that we can see. A woman coming out in the middle of the road wearing Good nothing Lord. but nightgown and, and she seems to kind of run. You just don't don't notice her. And at this point, I'd like you to make a driving roll. And uh, Chris, why don't you go ahead and make a dodge roll? Yeah. Ah. Oops. Okay, I excellent. All right. Uh, so as you see this thing and you try to swerve out of the way, this person kind of also notices you kind of last minute and also seems to swerve out of the way, although just doesn't make just doesn't make it. The combination of of your good driving, but the poor uh, dodge roll uh, causes this person to hit the car, hits her front on and she rolls over to the hood, smashes into your windshield, it, man. And windshield spiders out. You know, we don't have tempered glass. You stop the car. Did you, I would hope you, so. Did you see, <laughs> Sebastian, did you, did you see something in the road? I didn't see much after that star shell. What was it? No. I'll oh. get out the car. Yeah, we'll, we'll get out, both get out. Okay. Uh, in the rain. Good Lord, right, it's uh, to be a young woman. We are going to be late. We're going to be very, very late at this rate. That's your concern. That's your concern. Wreck me down, <laughs> and you're going to be late. We have, we, have, we have to take her to hospital or something, and and we're going to end up missing the performance. Oh, is, is, is she okay? You're you're a, you're a military man. You've probably seen wounds and things. I move towards the young lady, taking off my overcoat. Coat. Okay, it, and you are you are drenched. Completely drenched. Okay, uh, okay, okay. The rain get, is get coming back to the down. Car. Get him back to the car. Gather her up in my in my arms and return to the car. Put her onto the back seat. Um, may I roll a first aid roll? A you may roll a first aid roll. I'm bleeding. 
Okay. So just a standard first day roll to see if I make it. Uh, nope. Fail miserably. Very okay. Miserably. It must be dark. Uh, There's no. Yeah, it, 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 it is quite dark in there. It, it, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, you do feel the sick, sweet, like wet, uh, you know, uh, consistency really? of blood. She obviously has a, a, a cut on her head or, or something. There, there's been there's been impact on the head and there is there is bleeding. Um, there's only so much a cigarette lighter can show you. Um, yeah, we, well, we, what the cigarette lighter will show you is that when you flash it, the 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 pupils do dilate that they're like the way they're supposed to. So, um, if you're putting it up, you could see that she is she's perfectly conscious. She's likely, you know, crying out in a bit of pain and stuff. But uh, um, you know, you were going pretty slow on the road um, when you did hit hit her. Uh, luckily, uh, well, and not you, woman. What were you doing out of weather? On the road. I, While he's doing that, I pack I don't know. my in pockets and look for my hip flask and pass it to her. Here, take a sip, young lady. Take the um, edge off. Prohibition <laughs> currently in place. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, prohibition never really stopped anybody from drinking, did I'll, I'll take a sip. I think you'll find I'm a representative of the law. Is it good quality stuff? Yes, it is. And I'm sure American laws do not apply to the British subjects. Medicinal purposes. I don't want to watch them. I'm sure it's, perfect. it's purely medicinal. Purely medicinal. It tastes like medicine. This stuff is crap. <laughs> but what? It what have you done with my clothes? I can assure you. Where's my jacket? My hat? If you haven't you left them out in the road, they're not in here. A few ladies today. Uh, and you can make me a spot hidden roll if you'd like, uh, since you are tending to the woman. Okay. Run again. Um, 27 on that one. And out, uh, sorry, is that a, uh, a success? Out of, out of 60, yes. Yes, oh, excellent. So, uh, yeah, that's a, uh, I believe that's a hard success. So the two pieces of information that you get is that you notice that, that, you know, her lips kind of blue, like she's been out for a while. Um, mm -hmm. In the car, obviously, it's a little bit warmer. Color is returning uh, slowly, but you notice that she has been out for quite a long time. Um, you also notice that um, despite being in night clothes, She's also wearing a necklace um, and it's underneath, but because of the wet and how the rain has, has soaked through the clothing, you can see it clearly uh, beneath there. It seems to be that it's, it's, a, um, it's a medallion uh, uh, of sorts. You can't examine it closely, but it looks like it has the shape of a square and a circle, like meaning it's maybe square outside. It's, it's a square medallion is, is the only thing that you notice on her. Where the Where devil have you come that? from? Never mind that, William. Give the poor lady your coat. Co can't you see she's shivering to death? To death. We can this worry about that later. Later. This is, this, this is woolen. It's just, it's just not appropriate for, for, for the weather. I wasn't expecting this, this level of rain. I mean, maybe she comes into the car and dries off a bit. She could sit in the coat, but um, I'm not bringing it outside. William, she's in the car. Fine, 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 fine. Just, just try to get most of the water off her before you put it over a lap or whatever you're going to do. <clears throat> and so, you what, are, what are your intentions at this point? You're in the driver's seat of the car. The car is uh, is stopped did, now. I mean, does the car actually start again? Oh, why don't you give me a luck roll? Yeah. When you ask questions like that, you know it's going to be, give me a luck roll. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anything that's not in your hands. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So, uh, extreme success. Not only is it uh, does it start flawlessly, but you notice that um, up ahead some distance um, to the right, so towards the east, you do see some um, flickering lights on in the distance. Maybe right. it's a home right. or something. Good. It could be. There could be something up there, but it, uh, there is something that looks like it's flickering lights every now and then between 
you know, sheets of rain coming down. You kind of see a flickering through the uh, through the the weather. Okay, maybe they maybe they've got a, a telephone or something. Maybe it's a garage or or some something. It's it's, it's get you somewhere where you can get nice and dry and wait for whoever. Try try to come to you. I would be good, and maybe something for my head after you ran me over in the road, you miscreant. I'm sorry, you jumped out into the road. I was driving at a sensible level for the conditions, and I don't do the way without even looking. You just shot out and imperiled all three of us, and it's highly irresponsible. These these, these motor cars, they are they have become more prevalent. And, and you, you younger people, you need to become more aware that they are going to dominate these these lanes and, and take that into consideration. Sebastian just looks at William. Are you finished? I, I'm, I'm, very care, I'm very careful not to do anything sure that would accept liability for a particular <laughs> activity. All yes. right. Uh, we're we're drive all you're trying to prove your innocence. You ran me down. Wait a minute! Is this an is this an insurance scam? Are you one of those people who <laughs> throws themselves in front of cars and then hopes to to take the the innocent drivers? Sebastian to... climbs over the. Fence. I clearly walked out in the middle of nowhere in the dark in the rain with no clothes on and stood in front of your car for an insurance claim. You idiot! I I <clears> didn't <throat> say it was a good plan. <laughs> uh, anyway, so where, as... where where have you come from? Well. I don't know from the road. Do you mean you don't know? Do you, do you have no memory of your actions before the last five minutes? I, were you were you sprung? I, I from don't the, from, seem from, to like, have much memory. Ed itself. I don't seem to have much memory of events since below before the the blow to my head. Uh, that is quite common, William. I see. Trying to get us a pair of medical bills. <clears throat> well, let's let, let, let's get up to this this house up ahead, and, and maybe we can we can sort things out. All right, uh, in, inside the car, um, you know the noise of the weather is a little bit uh, dampened through the car. You're you're driving. There's the engine of the motor going through. Uh, go ahead and make me a drive roll. We'll see uh, how you do, continuing to drive in these uh, treacherous conditions. Sure. While William is doing that, Sebastian turns. All right. Around, yeah, go offering, ahead. Offering the girl a cigarette, cigarette, and his light turns up. I didn't get your name, name, young madam. At this point, she does not remember her name. I, I, I don't know. Blood gush. <laughs> Well, we've uh, got for you something, I suppose. Samos, you look like a Heidi to me. I knew a Heidi once. Mm, that would do. That would do. I started training my hair into braids so I can look more like Heidi. <laughs> do you have any any identification? Any a purse or something? Or uh... William, she's in nightwear. She's practically naked under my coat. Under your coat as well. I don't think she's going to ca be carrying a driver's license. I've never driven a car. Well, you've oh, been yeah. hit by one. That's a first, <laughs> I suppose. Anyway, oh. I, I failed my drive roll. So. Ah, yes. So, so you, you you have to go very carefully and very slowly. You you know the road is just not your skill at driving fast in this weather is not going to be up. So you're, you're really crawling, uh, maybe like the same speed almost as walking. Um, your kind of windshield is, is spidered out because, you know, the, the glass back then was not tempered. So you're basically driving at a walking space, but at least you're out of the rain. And at least it's, it's somewhat dry in the car. And, and you know, so it is a shelter. It is a shelter that is tra traveling at the speed of, uh, but somewhat between walking and horse and buggy, maybe. Um, and as you progress, uh, you begin to notice that the lights uh, that are flickering on in the distance 
they, they are getting closer. They are getting more solid. They are there. And you'll notice that they're a little bit, let's say, more, uh, uh, you know, like, like those fluorescents. Um, and so as you're driving on the road, you're going to notice that it's, it's more of, um, you know, a place to stop off, off the road. And uh, I'm just going to describe as you're, as you're driving, um, you're going to notice that there is a, uh, a head in the road. As you're driving closer, you can see the lights, uh, they, they form a sign. Uh, and, and it's something like. Uh, o R and then a space and then H A R D and underneath that R U N. That those those are the signs that everybody sees ahead. Orchard something. Quite glaring with uh, the lights on my with my concussion. I shield my eyes. I say, is this one of these filling stations I've read about? You know they're popping up all over all over the place now. My family, I was going to one of the hope the Bible's on for 15 minutes about fitting stations. Yeah. I mean, Orchard Turn? Is that, a, is, that a locate, is that a place on a map that we remembered? I mean, I, I would have basically methodically gone through the map yeah. um, and made sure we had enough, more than enough fuel for the journey. Any key points of risk? That might have slowed things down. Um, yeah, would I would I have seen something called Orchard? Um, you do see that? it now as you're coming up, and it does seem to be exactly that. It's going to be a gas station, you know, diner kind of rest area respite on the road. Um, you're going to make me one more driving roll as you you it, and you can do it with with a, with a, a bonus die. Um, oh, I do that. Um, you would, uh, with a bonus die, I think you can just uh, either press the shift when you click, perhaps, or there's uh, probably a good way to do it in Fancy Grounds. Um, I just did you know twice. What? You did pass I did. I didn't need case. to anyway. That's fine. I got to that. That's fine. Yeah. So you, you do avoid ramming into this uh, truck, which seems to be kind of stuck on the road in the middle. It's this, like, um, uh, and and... It's no problem. You're able to avoid it, but it, there is another obstacle in your path. This this truck seems to be stopped in the middle of the road. Uh, tell me what you'd like to do. Where you're, uh, what you're doing when you notice this. Well, I hit my horn first of all. Oh, the the truck is not moving. Yeah. It's facing away from us. Is it, it looks like it's just been just like on the road, or is it? Part it's of almost jackknifed. Uh, Jack oh, okay. Or, well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, for pity's sake. I, I mean, I don't think trucks back then could jackknife, really. They didn't have the... But they were not articulated in the middle. It's still blocking the, the road, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, how far is the garage on the other side of the truck? Oh, it's it's not far at all. The The map is sh is, is shared with the players on Fancy Grounds now. Oh, yeah. I can probably make that a little bit bigger. Oh, is it shared? I have to share it. I think let's go... Yeah, I can see it on Twitch, but I can't see it on uh, Fancy Grounds. Okay, yeah, let's share it. Public, okay. there we go. There we go. Ah! Um, so we are at the abandoned vehicles and before. We're just behind that, and it's literally just to the side of the gas station of this. Okay. I mean, can we get around it? Uh, yeah, you can get onto the, the, the side if you want to. You see the truck now. Uh, what you want to do and where you want to go is up to you from there. Yeah. Hmm. Shall we see if there's um, anyone else in the di in dino, the gar garage, who can render this young lady some medical attention? Or fine, fine. Want... Yes, well, fine. We'll go. We'll go. We'll just eat into our precious contingency. Um, yes, we can find somewhere. To, um, I mean, obviously, I did think he was going to see. Well, Madeline you can stay Clinton. in the car if you wish. <laughs> I think I will stay with you just in case you say anything that may um, incriminate you. Uh, the university. You're horrible driver. Uh, in any way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we'll still pull up. Instead of pump, yeah. Even we've got plenty of fuel. And everybody and, go um, ahead and make a spot hit and roll one more time, please. Uh, 
I actually fail that with an 82. All right. My real estate, excuse me. Critical. <laughs> wow. You see it as 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 if it is almost like not in front of you, but you see it as clearly as if it was in front of you. Out um behind you towards the west, this bright light. It it seems to almost be like a beacon light, but it is so pure and so white. It's unlike any any light that you've ever seen. It's almost like just this this white area that's just standing there in the middle of the forest. Hmm. You're the only one noticing it. Everybody's everybody else is looking towards the diner and people inside the diner. I've got my head in the car. In the car faffing about faffing about I've got my hip flask. No. There's no, there's no there's no compulsion or emotional reaction to it necessarily. It's just a bright light in the middle of the woods. Yeah, like is it is it is it a beacon light? Is it a uh, is it a, a very bright light from a home like in the middle of the woods in the rain? Like there's just this huge light. Maybe it's a house, but so bright. Like it's the, is there technology that makes bulbs that bright that you've ever heard of or seen of that that would you know like you know maybe some secret government compound that is working with light and super and bright bulbs i mean I work, I work with i work with some of the uh, the patent submissions from the university and uh, i don't think we're working on anything that I'll, but not that i really get involved in that kind of thing um i mean it's curious but really just want to focus on getting this poor girl, the medical attention that she needs without accepting any liability for the situation in which she finds herself. A hundred percent. And 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 while you're thinking that through uh, and, and just gathering at the light, you notice that, that another bolt of lightning comes down somewhere in the distance towards that area and the light disappears. What are you stalling like, for? It was never there. Get me some help for my bleeding head and some clothing. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. Let's get, get into the diner. Get into the diner. What, what time? What time of day is it? Oh, uh, it is uh, probably. I mean, seven thirty at night ish. Okay. Probably a little bit prior to that. You, 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 you met the uh, young hitchhiker on the road at about seven. So, so this place, you know. this place is open and it's buzzing and there's people inside and everything. Uh, no, you see uh, one car uh, outside um, uh, the uh, the gas sta- the at least the diner. You see one car outside there, a, a sedan of sorts. Um, no other cars there. Nothing at the uh, at the diner. There is a, there seems to be a, a another uh, another vehicle kind of you know at the side of the gas station. Maybe it's the attendant's car. Uh, from what you can see, oh, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go the to the diner and get a coffee, and then talk about what we're going to do next. It's like All right. already stopped now. I offer my arm to the hitchhiker, uh, since she's still wearing my coat. I don't offer William's back, but take it on myself, myself, and let him walk in the rain. I lean heavily on this gentleman that's willing to help me. Clearly, a, a a a better better sort of person than that uh, suit that was driving the car. Um, make my way into the diner, opening the door door for the hitchhike. Hitchhiker, having to look round first. What can I see inside right. the diner? Okay. So as you as you enter the diner, um, the sound is a little bit more muffled inside here, at least from the outside. You don't hear the storm as as much. Uh, you do see that there are about there are five people in the diner now. Uh, you see somebody definitely behind uh, the counter. Um, you see an an older couple, um, you know, sitting at one of the benches, huddled together on with a, a drink, uh, you know, hot drinks and and a sandwich. Um, you see a brute of a guy sitting somewhere else, also. Um, his eyes are, are bleary-eyed. Um, uh, his nose has that 
that deep red that uh, alcoholics foster over many, many, many years. Um, but he has like steaming cups of, of, of coffee uh, in front of his hands. Uh, maybe they're shaking slightly uh, just to kind of build the uh, ambience here. Um, and uh, you, you do see, uh, you know, another, uh, you know, patron looks like middle aged man with uh, graying hair, um, with a uh, blonde mustache. Um, so the, the gray from his head didn't actually reach his upper lip yet. Um, yeah, I know that and one. As you, uh, as you walk in, uh, the uh, one of the women uh, should get her image up there for you. Um, greets you and says, uh, uh, welcome, welcome, get Get in from the storm, and and you can all roll me your spot hidden rolls as you as you walk in. Yep. Fifty-eight out of sixty. Pass. Okay, excellent. So let me now just get our uh, second piece of secret information in here for uh, dear Emily Webb. Who? Is there anybody in here who has uh, any medical experience? Any any doctors, nurses? No. Oh. And and Boy you seem to notice that one of the person, uh, one of the people inside here, um, uh, turns uh, and says, uh, "Emily, Emily, what what are you what are you doing here, Emily?" What happened? Why is she in your coats? What what it happened? It is a long, it well a relatively short story. This young Emil, Emily appeared in the middle of the road suddenly, and there was a sm slight m mishap, and uh, she had. Oh, I'm down by that one. <laughs> but I, I'm not really related with to him per se. He's just was just driving. I can't really speak for his motivations per se, but you know. These are generally good sort, so I don't think he meant to. But we had a small accident, and Emily here came off, well, worse aware. Um, I said, we've got a first aid kit or a, just some towels to stop the bleed, bleeding. And I, I don't know why Emily was out in our unmentionables. Um, but, um, Interesting. It uh, appears that Emily herself. Um, doesn't know either and has no memory of why she ended up there. I don't know if there's anything you could shed any light on. And, and so you get, uh, you got, uh, you have um, one of the, um, uh, it, it's this gentleman with that the gray hair and the the, um, the blonde mustache, uh, you know, uh, wearing a white shirt, bow tie, and suspenders. Um, uh, goes, uh, um, uh, oh my. This is, uh, this is quite troubling indeed. Uh, um, go ahead, Mary, Mary, get to tend, tend to poor Emily. Get her, get her a drink of something. Get, get something for her head. My goodness me. Um, uh, and, you know, it's kind of like, you know, Mary kind of snaps out of her reverie wherever she is. Yes, yes, of course, of course. And she busies herself um, to bring... I confess, I, I'm, I'm quite bewildered after the impact with with the car and I, I I'm at a loss I I don't know who who you are uh, you're calling me Emily it, it seems right but I don't I don't know oh, yeah <laughs> oh man Sam uh, as as Mary is addressing this this other gentleman Sam that's 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 Emily all right uh, playing her games again. Uh, come on, Emily, uh, you're always speeding past here in your brand new sports car all the time, no. showing it off. Come on, t tell me you don't remember that. What What are I'm, you up to oh, now? What, I, I was afoot. I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know if I drive, much less a sports car. <laughs> yeah, no uh, car. Pull the like other one. Out the doors. Because she was in the middle of the road. Rose. The important thing is that Emily has found her friends who will now be able to look after her and take her back to home, and we can carry on with our journey to go and find Madame Canoe. Emily, friends. it's been an absolute pleasure. 
Hmm? I'm absolved, you cad. You ran me down. Well, let's... Uh, tempest, Tempest, let's, let's, let's at least have some tea for... for first, I mean... I'll have some well, tea. Like, to get blood from my head from dripping in it. Oh. Well, you can do it's that. A tiny, I'll, I'll... It's a tiny gash, woman! There's a hysterical about it. Well, the head wounds do bleed rather a bit. Rather a bit, I remember. It's not, that's not important. But they do bleed a bit. Just let's calm down. Have a in second. the interest of fair play, how about we go back out in the street and I run you over? <laughs> in one of your, your sports car that they were referring to earlier. No, only fair I do it in the same car that you did it to me with. Well, unfortunately, you've already broken that car. With your the, tomfoolery. The only issue I have with that is it is it is my only mode of transport back. And while I'm perfectly happy to let you run him over, me on the other hand, not so not so has sure. The, um, has the radio not, said anything about the about the storm? Or the, yes. the weather. Uh, yeah, so you were warned in advance that there was a storm coming, and oh. that's why you did leave the hour early. Uh, to be able to make it on time. Um, with your cracked windshield now and the weather getting worse, it seems to have already uh, caught up with you. Um, you're, you're not quite sure, uh, you know, the, you know, if these roads are even drivable. Um, the one thing that you, you may have uh, noticed as you were kind of coming around uh, the truck is that it looks like the truck is kind of almost dug in a bit to the road. The road got soft to the point where uh, the, the wrenching or the sliding or however it is the, 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 the truck kind of got maneuvered into that place. It, 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 they're, they're built up a lot of mud against it. It's a very, very, very soft road from this so road. So can I, okay, can I make, um, I guess it's kind of intelli- a no or an idea roll. Is it still worth pursuing the journey um, to go and see Madame Inconu, or do I think this is a this is a write off idea, um, and we'll get stuck in the mud and never get there? It'd be too dangerous anyway. Uh, yeah, I think a natural world role would be called for for this. Ooh, natural world, interesting. Okay. For all those who never put points in natural world, ha ha! I have points in natural world. <laughs> not enough. Not that much. And I'm not it's... spending forty three luck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you can't you can't predict the weather. I mean, it, it's 1920s. The information that you were getting from the radio, uh, coupled with this weather, and you've already almost killed somebody on the road. Practically, whoa, whoa, that's not from, away. You know what they're saying? Is, oh, he uh, did. <laughs> Do you have? Uh, let's say, so look whoever like the bar of the diner, whoever looks like they they own it or run it. That, yeah. Do you yeah, have uh, a telephone I can use? Oh, it's telephone. We don't have a, 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 a telephone here. Uh, of course, of course. Oh, uh, we, we can offer you a sandwich, coffee. Mary, Mary, did, <sighs> did you take their orders already? <sighs> My I, God, that's everything going on tonight. This too now. Uh, what, I lean on what the old that you want? and ask if I can, I can perhaps get a, a, a little cup of tea because I'm... I, completely distraught from getting run down in the road. Uh, yeah, and so um, as as Mary comes down with the tea, she says, here you go, your majesty, but kind of just quietly enough that you would hear it. If anybody right. else but wanted to hear that, they situation. could make a listen roll to see if they've Are noticed Mary that. Is the waitress or, the, or the, the couple? Uh, Mary is the waitress. She's, yeah. the, she's the one behind there. She's okay. she's the one that appears to have known you by name. By way of restitution for the situation in which you find yourself, I will buy your tea. And this will be an, an end to the proceedings. No, listen. Uh, oh, I'm hitting the wrong bit. Hang on. I, 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 I'm flabbergasted by your attempt to make this into a legal proceedings already. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and, and you're of running me down. And and uh, Sam goes, don't 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 worry about Mary's tea. We about uh, uh, Emily's tea. Uh, we, we we country folk we take care of our own here. And if uh, if uh, somebody's caught in a storm like this, 
and and then you hear the, these two uh, two people like kind of pipe up as they kind of hear this um, from the side of the cafe. Um, this, this old couple come up, but 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 we had to pay for our food and drinks. Uh, yeah, we're we're you know we're 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 elderly. Oh, yes, yes, of course, uh, of course. So 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 sorry about that. Go go ahead and and we'll 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 happily uh, reimburse you uh, for the costs of your meal. But you know, this but, is a uh, terrible just this way to one. Run a business. I, am I wearing William Shipley's jacket or coat right now? Uh, if you want to be, you are. Well, it's not my decision. It's their coats, but I just, I can, I don't know that anybody took the coat away from you yet. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah. You still, you still got the coat over your shoulders. So I have William Shipley's coat on my shoulders. I, you I have his coat on your shoulders. Yeah. Teeth to, to wipe the blood from my forehead. Ah, and I blow my nose quietly into this, into the, into the lapel. And this woman a napkin. <laughs> yes. You, you are provided with, 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 with cloths. To uh, to close your wounds and oh, stuff. Oh, and, good. Uh, oh, good. Yes, yeah, so uh, you, you will. Have the the first aid kit is pulled out. So uh, then I start, I start to use the first aid kit instead yes. of his sleeve. Exactly. Yes, you can. For the whole uh, of this, you, I secretly been drying my raincoat. The S hasn't got blood on it, which I've taken away. No, oh, Sebastian, uh, you've 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 done more than enough. You're clearly an officer, if not not. A, if, uh, in more. fact, it is actually Mary who comes up with the um, with the first aid kit. She goes kind of uh, you know behind the counter. There seems to be a back room there. She comes out with the uh, with the um, the first aid kit, and 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 she's you know applying a piece of uh, a bandage to your head and wrapping gauze around and and looking at you. And she's, okay, Emily, what? What game are you playing at now, really? Is, is that too tight? And she's game? like, yeah. game. What? It's Wait, no game. You, why are you out here in in like in your in your nightgown? Are you just always after attention? No idea. Uh, I the last thing I remember is being struck by that Ford Model T in the street. I think that lawyer was driving it. But why were you it, out it, in the first place? You really have no memory? I don't. I, I, I'm not even sure who you are, to be honest. Everybody can make a spot hidden roll. Who is observing this conversation? Success with 38. All right. And um, Emily could make the spot hidden roll, too. Or actually, Emily, you probably get, uh, can make the psychology roll. Because you are. Okay. It's all right. Uh, and uh, do we have a roll from Sebastian? Yes. Uh, 38 success. All right. Uh, so, you know, it, it just as you're watching this, it looks like a normal conversation. Um, but at some point, it almost seems like Mary is breathing a sigh of relief, like almost like she's like, ha. Ah. And it must be because, you know, now she's gotten the bandage on the head and Mary seems to be a little bit more OK, maybe. Um, but it looks like she's a little bit more calm now. Um, and then she goes back to her duties um, behind the uh, the counter. Uh, and, and so Sam comes up and says, uh, you know, what's... Uh, and he goes to this 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 kind of this brute of a person that's sitting drinking his coffee and says, "So, uh, Jake, what what's going to be with the truck?" And uh, Jake goes, the, the gruff guy goes, "Ah, oh, I don't know. I guess we'll wait until morning and pull it out. You're you're going to leave the car there all night, your truck there all night. Look at this rain. I'm not going out in this rain." And you also can see that he kind of, um, you know, takes out of his jacket a little, you know, glass. Or actually, it's, it's going to be like um, like a small jar. And he's going to pour something into the coffee from there. Close it up and, and continue to drink. Jake poured coffee into his own, uh, poured alcohol into his own coffee? It looks like it. Yeah. Or into the cup that was Sam, apparently Sam holding coffee. Sam is the mustachioed guy or the older couple? Yes. Sam is the mustachio guy. Uh, he he's kind of looks, uh, he's kind of taking on a managerial role here from what you can see. 
So does, does Emily have any family in this room? In this room? Mm. Who are you asking? I'll talk to Mary. Mary, Mary. You obviously seem to know Emily. We want obviously what's the best for her. We want to return her back to her loved ones. Is anyone here related to her in this room? Yeah. In the I, don't, I, I don't know her. I don't know Emily that well. I just see her driving back and forth by her car. I, it's just, uh, I don't really know she's her. She's not a local then. Driving, oh. driving back and forth from where? She must be a local. I, I don't know. How about her surname? I don't think we know uh, that. I, and at that, Sam, you know, that's that's Emily Webb. That's uh, that's Doctor Webb's granddaughter. Emily. Ah, ah, ah! We have something. All right. Yeah, yeah, Doctor yeah. Webb. He's, yeah, Doctor Webb. And are Webb. they local? Sorry. Are they local? Yeah, he lives not far back down uh, south. Uh, there's uh, there's a break off in the road. Uh, you go around a, a you know small hill. hill. Oh, they, wow. have a, they have a, 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 a they have a home there. Is that about where we picked her up? How are you going to determine that? Uh, oh gosh, navigate. That's oh, where we're we yeah, heading. They, north they don't the know where you. They don't know where you picked her up necessarily. But no, no, sorry, I, I'm, I'm asking you as the as a keeper. If they say it was down the road a bit by a turning. Okay, you didn't out. you didn't see a turn because it was totally it's totally yep. dark. There was no evidence of a turn. You weren't yep. watching but, for it. It's, 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 it's the right road. It's the right direction. Where were Just, you? Were we northbound on the highway when I got run down? Yes, you were northbound on the highway when you got run down. Highway. Yes. Does the diner have a stock of road maps to purchase, or I could take one of them and ask Sam to point out? Well, I mean, they don't necessarily have maps, but he'll kind of, you know, give you general directions of where he thinks it is. I mean, he doesn't he's never been there. I've never been there. I, I don't know exactly where I, I know they come from here or there. Uh, Dr. Webb would come in for, uh, you know, to 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 uh, to treat uh, to treat patients. He 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 went to you know from his home i know generally where he lives but uh you know, he generally would make his rounds to us we we never went to him does does this talk sebastian goes out your jog no no. i'm sorry so sebastian yeah. takes out his notepad and draws a sketch map offering it to sam converting his directions trying to get him to confirm A hundred percent. Yes. Uh, so you are able um, to get the kind of, you know, you're able to get somewhat of it. Yeah, just kind of watch out for over here. Uh, probably about a, a, you know, 15 minute drive down the road if, you know, conditions were better. Um, and then there there would be a uh, like kind of an entrance on the on the right. Small little forest road up. Uh, good enough to, to get your car in. Uh, do you have any umbrellas for sale? Um, make me a luck roll. No. Uh, no, there are no umbrellas, but uh, I'm going to ask uh, both uh, Sebastian and William to make luck rolls as well. Okay. Uh... <laughs> wow. Swings and roundabouts. Uh, all right, so uh, Sebastian, you might be out of luck here. Let's see what your luck roll is. My luck is 42 out of 65. Okay, well, 42 out of 65 does not beat an extreme success. Uh, and so what's unfolding now is that you see the 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 couple, kind of the elderly couple that are um, at the booth together. Uh, and you hear the, the woman go, um, uh, Teddy, it, it, it's OK. One of these, you know, you, one of these nice gentlemen will will help you here. Uh, it, it's it's too inclement to go out uh, and you hear her. Go, oh, uh, Winfred, please. I, I'm, 
I'm I'm not a boy. I I'm a I'm a grown man. Uh, and and you hear to go, but but with your arthritis and everything, surely it's not safe for you to go out on your own. Uh, excuse me. Well, one of you gentlemen, do you mind? Uh, uh, my husband needs to use the uh, the privy uh, at, uh, at the outhouse just behind the 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 station. Um, uh, it, it's it's some distance. Uh, would 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 anybody mind uh, escorting him out there? And uh, un unfortunately for Sebastian, this this kind of triggers something in you that you've you feel you you may need to also use the privy. Well, given the circumstances, yes, don't, quite all right. And, and they and they go, you don't don't forget, use your umbrella. And so, they do have an umbrella, at least to uh, head towards the privy, which is, um, yeah. I'll, although unfortunately, the map says WC on there. The module specifically says that it is out in the back of the diner, uh, a ways out into the woods. Oh. Well, I've had worse facilities, I suppose. I suppose, well, the quicker we get this done, the quicker, the quicker we can be back. What? What? Oh, oh that's uh, that, that's that's so kind of you. Uh, what's your name? Oh, my apologies. Sebastian Ridgway, Major, formerly of His Majesty's Army. Oh, so Sebastian, that sounds exotic. Uh, are you are you French? Well, possibly on, on my mother's side. We don't talk about it. Oh, oh, bless, okay. please. Ah, I see. <laughs> you see, Teddy, this this, this nice uh, this, uh, Sebastian guy. Honey, is he is he French? No, 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 no. You listen to his accent. He's pure English. It'll be fine. Are, are you sure? Yes, 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 yes. You know the French in outhouses. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sebastian dies slightly inside. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yes so it's very nice you're escorting this uh this uh, this elderly gentleman i mean we're talking about elderly probably we're talking 60s in the 20s right so you know certainly capable um and and you both head out and uh is there anything you're discussing while you're heading out there so are you local sir or passing through or no, no, just just passing through. We're visiting our uh, our our children in in uh, Ipswich. I I don't think we're gonna get there tonight, in time. Probably better we uh, we stay here. The diner has has kindly uh, uh, offered to remain open uh, for an extended period of time. We certainly don't want to be traveling these roads in this in this weather. Mm, well, I suppose you our are children will be right. sick with worry. We don't we don't have any way to contact them, but. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure they'll understand, given the weather, that we may have uh, we may have stopped on the way somewhere. Well, I, I do not tell my friend, but I do not think we are making our going going to be able to get to Ipswich ourselves tonight. Or, so you may have company company at the di uh, the diner, but. Oh. Hmm. Well, that would be most 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 acceptable. Do you do you play cribbage? No, but I can. I am told I'm a very quick study. Ah, I see. Okay. And and while this is this is this 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 very pleasant conversation is happening outside in the chilly wind, and they're huddling together and heading uh, towards this outhouse, some a uh, few hundred yards away or meters. Uh, what's happening on the inside of the cafe? I'm doing some, I'm doing some sketching and, and looking at what on back of Nipkin, trying to work out what our chances are, and and coming to the same realization that uh, Sebastian is that we're not going to make it tonight. Uh, thinking about how much it's going to upset my uh, the university and my brother, and I've got no way to get in contact with them, and I'm going to get out my little music box, and um, start to start to wind it up and put it on the side. And then it starts to play Gymnopedy by Sati, which is the one that goes do, 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 do. Excellent. And just like fix on that. All right. Uh, so at this point, uh, Sebastian, why don't you go ahead and, uh, you know, you can go ahead and make a, a, a spot hidden roll. Uh, 
Okay. Rolling. I, 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 I've had my tea now, finally, and, and had yes. a little bit of health care. And, yes. you know, this discussion of the grandfather I don't remember and the house that I don't remember and the bright lights is as triggering any thought in my head that the bright light outside and the house that we were discussing perhaps are in the same direction. Um, I don't know that you've seen the bright light yet, have you? Well, I assume that it was drawn. My attention was drawn to it when everybody else noticed it in the car. Um, it was quite. A, it was quite a bright light. It was a bright light. I, you don't remember seeing the bright light, and I don't believe that either. I mean, uh, there was at one point Sebastian called out uh, to William where the bright light was prior to him hitting you with the car. Um, but that seems to have been forgotten, I guess, while uh, the emergency. Well, I, I thought we all, I thought we all you, saw, so. saw the bright light. Have we, have, we, have we kind of no. like curved around it? So it was like the same light, but seen from a different angle. Uh, so these, again, you saw the bright light only like once, correct? Yeah. So I, yeah, I've had the tea. I've had some yes. health care. It does the does the discussion of my grandfather's house have any relevance to me at all? Uh, you're not you're not remembering it. You're remembering maybe spending uh, some time in um, maybe uh you know the last thing you remember maybe was um like a a a boarding room with many ho many beds that was almost like hospital beds. That's maybe coming to you in your memory a bit, but you don't remember your name and you don't remember. Uh, uh, Dr. Webb, you remember and nothing kind of waitress Mary. No, she does not. You don't recognize her at all. No. Um. So yeah, and and I'm assuming now that it's really uh, at this point, both Sebastian and William had saw the bright light at separate times in separate places, never together, uh, and that they didn't discuss it with each other, other than uh, well, you know, the first time. Oh, you know, Sebastian, going, hey, well, what's that over there? And then it disappeared. Um, William never got a chance to see it, uh, but did kind of notice it when he was like coming up to the um, or did notice a, a similar, just similarly described by myself light uh, when he got to the uh, diner. So once it's been through a few times, William takes his breath and goes over to um, Amelia. And it's like, the right thing to do is to make sure that you get back to your grandfather, irrespective of concerns for preservations of material goods or, or whatever. So once Major Ridgeway returns, we will take you back to your grandfather's house um, by car or on foot if need be. Not sure that I, I think that your type really is, is going to make judgments on what is the right thing to do. I, I'll wait for Major Ridgeway and his uh, officer's opinion on what the right thing to do is here. So outside the dining room, yes. I have passed my spot hidden roll with a roll of 22. Okay. Uh, so you do again, you see that bright light. Um, it seems to be, uh, although uh, like from where you saw it in the distance out as you were heading north, uh, it would have been on the western side. Uh, now it looks more like it's off in the distance toward the eastern side. Um, but it's a very, very, very bright light. It's kind of far in the distance. Um, and uh, and and our our, our good old T Teddy is 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 availing himself of the facility uh, at the moment. Um, and you are uh, you are there with the with the uh, with the umbrella in hand. Um, and, but you do see it off in the distance uh, towards the southeast of where you originally saw it. Kind of maybe straight in line with where where you are now. Huh. I say, Teddy, are you nearly finished in there? Well, there. Well, uh, it, it just, just a moment, and and you know, kind of as as you kind of, you know, you 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 turn. Didn't bring a phone in with him, did he? Say yeah. these things. Um, a, a, a lightning kind of strikes quite close 
um, to the diner, not not quite reaching it, but quite close to the diner. Uh, and and you turn your head for a second, and that that light disappears. And uh, Teddy Teddy comes out. So I, I, I'm so sorry, sir. If I t if I if I if I took too long, Sebastian. No, no, go, no, no. Go no, ahead. No, the no, facilities no. are all yours. No, 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 no. No, it was more to do. Honestly, Teddy, there was more to do with a strange light out in the woods, reminding me a bit of a star shell during the war. You, oh. a, a, illumination round and then yeah. there was some lightning odd weather you have in these parts these parts oh, uh, yeah well you know it, 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 this kind of the back the, the back uh, back areas this, there's not much around the area a, a few farms in the area I believe and uh, uh, there, there's not much else here it's not not, not a very developed area no uh, artillery uh, ranges or anything like that. Oh, good heavens, I'm sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay. Um, I, I was, I was, you know, too old at the time to join uh, in, in, in the war to end all wars. Well, you, let's just say, the better you were. I tap him on the shoulder and pass him the umbrella. Now, right. and if you, you stand inside. watch, old boy. Yep. Um, uh, and, and as you... the outside door. Yep. And we've allowed English, good lord, these are the facilities. <laughs> and above that. And leave it up there. And uh, let's go back to the diner for a moment. Is there anything uh, that would be transpiring at this point inside the diner? Um, I think I'm trying to find what the emergency facilities are. So if people can't move on, um, are there like rooms? Are there blankets? Um, is, is the intention that everyone currently in the diner is going to hunker down and wait for morning? Oh, you're you're not getting anything that looks like that organized there. You know, maybe the weather will will you know break off in an hour or two it's it's difficult to tell yeah. nobody is making any type of preparations like that they clearly have the intention that you don't run down people on the road right get out of the bloody road that's fine that's fine we will we will get you home okay just wait for the major to come back and then we'll get you home so there's uh, two more things that are going to occur prior to the uh, break, which will happen momentarily for ad purposes. Uh, and that is this. Um, Sebastian, outside, you, from, from where you are inside the privy to outside, uh, you, you kind of, you, you still hear the weather is, is going really, really, very, very strong. Um, and um, all of a sudden there's another crack of lightning and you don't see this yet, but everybody inside the diner loses power. And the lights just go out after you hear this crack of lightning. The lights are all gone. They're, they're all out. Um, we're going to step to something that also happens at that same time. Uh, and that is um, that possibly, uh, you know, why don't you make a, a listen roll? Um, uh, it would be Sebastian. Okay. Rolling dice now. And that is 12 out of 30. So, so. It, you do hear kind of something. It, it, it's almost like a, what, what, what? Don't, no, don't do that. What, who are you? Ah! And you hear this loud, loud scream. Uh, coming from somewhere in the distance. Um, and then that scream just drops dead. And that is where we're going to stop for our break. So, uh, guys, we're going to go for a quick break. Uh, we'll be back in a few moments. Um, a, a strong sound of uh, thunder and perhaps a bolt of lightning might have been seen 
uh, right prior to the cafe going completely dark. Um, at the same time, uh, through the, the woods somewhere in the vicinity of the uh, outhouse, uh, Sebastian was able to hear, oh, poor old Mr. Uh, Teddy uh, Brewer um, seem a little confused and then cry out in pain. Uh, and, and then uh, it kind of just went quiet after that. And so that is where we are going to uh, continue off. Um, with uh, Mr. Uh, Sebastian, Major Sebastian, I should say. After a few moments of privacy in the privy, I call out Teddy. Teddy. There I put no one hand on, on the privy door and then reach into my other jacket pocket and pull my webby self-loader out. Teddy, answer me as I open the door slowly, looking around. Oh. Right. Uh, yeah, so as you are uh, outside, um, you can uh, definitely hear that the rain is, is, is coming down very hard where you are. Uh, you are getting soaked. Uh, you don't see uh, Teddy anywhere around. Um, you do. Uh, you you have your jacket on, but now there's no umbrella, uh, so your Webley is getting uh, wet, uh, uh, as is your jacket. Um, and you've noticed that uh, it, it appears that it's completely dark, whereas before you were able to see the lights of where the um the gas station was and the diner it's completely dark it's completely black you know the clouds are are covering any any source of light that would come from stars um you could see barely a few feet in front of you um you could see the the, the privy and the door around you you do not see teddy you do not see the lights to orient you which way to head towards the diner or the uh or the gas station. I curse loudly and inventively, inventively on, and call out for Teddy again. Can I make a navigation roll to see I, if I? Yes, you can make a navigation roll. Um, yeah, we'll see what that gives you for I, sure. I scream when the lights go out and, and, and call for the major immediately. That would be my first reaction. Okay. Okay, so. In case you can hear that. Um, that it is an 18 and it is a failure. Not um, a critical okay. failure, but a failure. Um, I mean, you, you maybe have kind of a, an idea which way the diner may be. I mean, you think you do. If you just came out, there's probably a little path. Um, but uh, if you go ahead and let's, let's, you know, let's have you make a listen roll. Okay. Rolling listen. Rolled a 25, which is a success. Okay. You think you might kind of know which direction from where you were that you heard uh, Teddy scream from? Maybe if he was heading back towards the diner at the time, if he just decided not to wait for you, that might be the the way to, to head back to the diner. Well, maybe he is an older gent, here. and I wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't begrudge him wanting to get out the rain instead of waiting for me. Uh, but then logic dictates if you're going to put a privy for a diner, you would face the door towards the diner. So, all right. While you're thinking about that, um, and kind of pondering what your next move is going to be in the diner. Um, you know, all of a sudden there's, there's a commotion and, 
Sam goes, uh, Mary, Mary, get get get, uh, get the lantern. There, there are candles. There, there, there must be some emergency equipment. And she goes, I can't see a bloody thing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to feel my way for it and stuff like that. And and you hear a bit, Miss Winfred said, but but my poor Teddy is out there. I mean, and 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 who, who, where, where, you know, it's it's been such a long time. Oh, he's he's going to be very worried about me being in the dark like this. Somebody has to go look for him. Uh, 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 Mr. Mr. Keelum, you're, you're, you're Mr. Sam Keelum. You're, you're the manager here. You're, you're responsible for the well-being of everybody here now. Uh, we're under your jurisdiction. Go out there and, and, and find my teddy, please. Bring him back to me now. Uh, and Sam goes, oh, uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm responsible here. That's why I have to stay here. I can't leave this 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 establishment to to just anybody here. Uh, I can't leave. I'm uh, I'm uh, you know. Uh, Mister Jake, Shepard, be a man of action. Do Jake, something. Jake, why why don't you go That's help uh, Miss Miss uh, Miss uh, Miss Winfred find her her husband outside? You you know these she's, you know the back ways around here. With it's fine. She's with Major Ridgeway. He's a very competent man. He's an outdoorsman. He's um, you know, he's served in the the trenches and everything. He's just taken an old man to the toilet. He'll be back soon. He's obviously having some digestive issues that are causing him to to delay, possibly as a result of some substandard food that he's been served at some stage or too much coffee. Um, let's not panic. Let's not get carried away. And, and and to that you kind of hear uh Jake as this kind of guy gets up and says, Yeah, I I agree with that guy. I I ain't going out in this weather. I'm staying right here. Um and let's uh let's pass back to uh to Sebastian. What have you decided to do? Sebastian is going to have to look for Teddy. He, he can't in all good conscience leave an elderly man out in this weather. Uh, and he has the umbrella. So, cautiously, while still calling out for the old man, Sebastian heads towards where he thought he heard the vo thought he heard Teddy scream. All right, um, go ahead and uh, make a luck roll. Okay. Rolling luck. And I got a 55, which is a success. Excellent. Okay. Um, so you, you're heading out. Um, you could notice on the way that they're, uh, like, where you're walking, it's, it's kind of not on the path, but you're managing to not trip on any of the roots of trees or, or, or brush or rocks that seem to be in your way. You're able to see them well enough and, and navigate on for a, a, a little bit. Um, and uh, after uh, just, just a few brief minutes of walking, um, how, what are you doing for light, by the way, in here? You don't have anything with you that is, is really giving you illumination, illumination? I have my cigarette lighter which is about as use, use of the chocolate teapot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in this weather, um, I am just going on natural night vision. Okay. To some degree. Pausing every couple of seconds to try and squint in the darkness. Okay, very good. And, and with that, I'm going to say that you've... Um, at, at, at one point, you get to uh, 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 a point in the road where you, you kind of, uh, we're going to say that you, um, give me a spot hit and roll while I describe this to you. You, okay. you feel that there's um, a uh, little bit of maybe a, a squishy path, uh, a squishy patch on the trail. Uh, how did you do with your spot hit? I got a 56. Uh, after 60. Okay, excellent. So, um, so uh, you do, you do spot that the, it does seem like, you know, like when you get to the spot in the middle of, 
where you're walking and you notice that the ground seems to have changed to be somewhat a little bit more Bloody. muddy. Um, <laughs> you notice that there's uh, that, that the, the patch that you walk into, it's 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 of a lighter color and uh, and to the side, uh, you, you kind of you, you, it, like kind of right near this. You step on something that's a little bit hard and you hear like the, a, a crack uh, underfoot. Um, and and you notice uh, that the there is what appears to be left of the umbrella after you stepped on it. And also, it seems like um, it may have been from the wind. It may have been from the storm. It may have been from, you know, taking it through the brush. But it looks like, I mean, the umbrella is all it's not shredded, but it, it's it's not it's not a functional umbrella. It looks like it's been through. Uh, it's it's much worse for wear now. And you you see the little spikes poking through, but the the canvas seems to be uh, broken off. Yeah, and plus you just split the uh, stem in half when you walked on it, stepped on it. I curse, inventedly again, before stooping to pick it up. Well, in my free hand. I'm shouting Teddy one more time. Okay, well, cut scene there. We're going to go back into the diner. Um, we will, let's have uh, William and Amelia both roll luck rolls. Trying to find it. Nope. Oh, a hard success. Okay, so uh, with that hard success, um, Mary does find, um, you know, one of these old style lanterns, these oil lanterns that she is able to light and it does emanate a very uh, soft glow in oh, the, uh, Mary, in the cafe. Hmm? She said, Mary, you're such a dear. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, of course. And, and so you do have now a little light around the area. Who's the manager, Sam? Yeah, Sam is uh, the manager. Sam, put some more candles. Mary can't do everything. Get to work. Do your job. Yes, yes, of course, Mary. I mean, I, I, I'm usually by the pumps. I, I don't know what's uh, here. And, um, you know, go ahead and uh, roll uh, 1d6 minus 1. I don't know how to do a minus one. You don't have to do the minus one. We're just going to subtract one. So there is a possibility of finding none. Oh, there there are go. no <laughs> candles to be found, so to speak. But there might have been up to five. Who knows? <laughs> there were just none to be found. Are we, how are we doing for provisions? Uh, what provisions are you looking for? I mean, how many, sam how many sandwiches do we have left? Are they pre-made? Are they made to order? Yeah, so the, this, I mean, the, the the diner here after after the the main hours, after the lunch hours, you know, they they're able to provide you know sandwiches and 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 cold meats and stuff like that. Um, you know, during lunch time or during the busier hours, there's actually a cook or a chef that will make the you know steak and eggs and uh, and other provisions. There's no there's no concern for food. Uh, okay. uh, if you have you know, you have a cooking skill and you want to start cooking. Um, you'll have to convince Sam to open up the kitchen for you for those purposes, but yeah, that's fine. I'm still, I'm still thinking that this is a normal storm. It's going to blow over in about an hour's time or so, but we're not going to get to Ipswich. If there's no concern no. about the food, I, I would appreciate some some eggs, Rockefeller. And, and to you, that, Mary goes. Hey, yes, I'm it. sure you would, <laughs> Your Highness. Well, I'm not sure what that that's supposed to mean. Nothing wrong with wanting some good uh, food. Oh, it's just me be, being friendly with you. Presumably she doesn't have a tab here. Clearly. Uh, no, she doesn't 
doesn't much eat here. Uh, I, we, we notice her going back and forth, uh, but uh, doesn't really stop by. Uh, Saying back right and often. forth, like you know where I've been and where I'm going. Okay, okay I'm going to say kind of I have like no you. idea where you go. Uh, for all I know, you're just taking a joyride in that fancy car of yours. Can I have a psychology check? Yeah, sure. Ooh, on the nose. Oh, okay, very nice. Um, uh, it's it's. Uh, I think my role playing is quite accurate. There's maybe a little bit resentment there of the, uh, you know, uh, richness maybe uh, that uh, that Amelia Webb is is purported to have. Uh, you did find out that she has a, a you know a brand new car. It's apparently a very nice car. Um, you know, she's obviously young, early twenties. Um, you know, not, and she'd just be like lording it around whenever she comes in for gas or whatever. She's probably she gets oh, her gas there. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Sam will will confirm that she he's, he's filled up her car. And it's a very nice one. Okay. All right, and let's head back. There's, there's no sign. There's no sign of the rain abating. Uh, no, not yet. No, it's it's quite. Um, uh, but go Is ahead. Is nobody going to check on the major? Well, let's yep. check on the major right now. That's an excellent segue. Uh, Sebastian. Shipley, Mr. Shipley, you'd think you'd, you'd be checking on your friend. There's actually nothing I can offer the major that would give him any succor or comfort or support in wending his way back from a oh. muddy uh, foul WC out in the, in the woods. He will arrive when he arrives. Sam, surely you're more of a gentleman, and you'll you'll go and look into Mister Mister Mister. How, how long have how long have they been gone? Uh yeah, I guess it's it's a little bit hard to say, but it's been maybe you know ten to fifteen minutes. It's it's beginning to get on the little bit of the long side yeah. for two people to have gone you know to an outhouse, maybe you know a uh, couple hundred yards behind and and stuff, but. Um, oh. What what is what is uh, Sebastian doing at this point with with all the information that he has so far? There is no clear, obvious sign of t t Teddy. It's a... <laughs> not that you see at this point. You've gone quite a ways, I'll say. I will call his name. A one more time, shouting my intention to return to the diner, and then try and make my way in what I think is the direction towards the diner. Okay, you can make a navigate roll. Uh, navigate, okay. <laughs> um. Oh, free! Actually, make that. Okay. Uh, very good. All right. So you are heading off in what you think might be the correct direction. You're not sure. Um, it, it is kind of dark. Um, or maybe you know, maybe you're trying to navigate yourself back to the the outhouse and then towards there. You're you're kind of you think you know where you're going at this point, but uh, hard to say. Um, so back in the diner, is anybody doing absolutely anything at all? Um, yes, I will I'll, say go and, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go and have a look, and then I need, I need my coat back, please. It's about time. Hey, my coat. Oh, I'm, I'm not going out without my coat. I'm not going out without coat. Cool. I'll catch my death. Your Give death, Lorraine. You are no gentleman, sir. I never profess to be. Now, please, may I have my coat. I get all huffy, but I give him the coat. Okay. All right. And you know what? At that, I'm going to say uh, Mary will will kind of, she says, I'll be right back. And she's heading out, uh, you know, to behind where the area where she got the first aid kit. And you are all plunged into darkness uh, when she does. And you kind of see the little lantern of light uh, come from there. And um, as, uh, as you, as, you know, as she's going, um, so, uh, what is William doing? You're heading out he'll in the rain. Out the, he'll go out the back door, go and have a look for them. See if they've fallen over in the mud or something. And, okay. 
Uh, how are you navigating? Like, where is it that you're trying to head towards? Uh, well, the WC. Okay, is... very good. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Go ahead and make me a, a navigate roll while you do that, and uh, while you're out doing that, Mary uh, does uh, come back uh, uh, to you, Amelia, and uh, she. Um, okay, it's not so bad. You're heading out towards the the privy. Um, and uh, she does um, come out with like this this pile of 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 clothes that she has, uh, and uh, she goes, "Here is, uh, you know, we have a lost and found out back, and see if anything from here kind of uh, fits you, if you like. So you can dress yourself out of your night clothes and have some clothes if you want." Oh, uh uh Different bless, sizes, different qualities. Bless your heart, Mary, for making this effort. I clearly don't mean it because I don't want to put on this peasant clothing, but... Uh, it, it is kind of rough on the skin, but yes. But given no choice, I, I will yeah. uh, dig into it and see if there's something that is appropriate. Yeah, you 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 find something that works, um, but is not clearly, uh, you know... Stylish. Like, the clothes that you were wearing were very fine. The nightgown was very fine. The night clothes were very fine. It was, uh, it was, it was quality made. And, you know, this by comparison just doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't stand up. Um, okay. And so you're going to be going ahead and doing that. And we have, uh, yeah, William is heading out um you kind of you're heading out out for a, a few minutes and um it does take you a little bit of time uh I, I, i'm calling i'm calling out his name as well I'm yeah 100 percent. and you you do get to the to the outhouse That, this was after a few moments, so uh, you know, while Amelia is getting dressed uh, in in some form of clothing, and you're heading out, uh, we had Sebastian heading back, and Sebastian, you you kind of head back, uh, and you didn't exactly get to the um, uh, necessarily to the diner. But you do get, uh, you know, you do hit uh, an area that you come out and you notice that right ahead of you um, to the north is the gas station. So you can very easily make your way back in to the diner. So the ships in the night don't pass each other? <laughs> um, they weren't in the same direction. He went off to look for where he heard for Teddy, but nobody knew that. Um, and, and, uh, as you come in, you're, you're going to see, uh, w w you know, Winfred goes, well, good, good, sir, Sebastian, where, where, where is Teddy? And you are drenched. Like you have not had the umbrella. Did, did you, did you leave him there on his own? You brute. God, Madam, I demand you go get him, him right I'll away. I never do that. Madam. I yeah, never did such a thing. You are wet and perhaps not in the greatest of moods at this point, but yes. I hold up the broken umbrella. I was using ah, you the took facilities. it with you. I was what? using the facilities. Ted, Teddy was waiting outside. There was a strange light. A flash of lightning. And then when I went to use the facilities and inside, I heard Teddy shout, almost scream. But that, that's preposterous. Are you suggesting that Teddy was struck by lightning? That, that, what are the chances hold, of that? That can't be. I show her the umbrella. Madam, I did not leave your husband. Husband, I went to check. I well, I demand you go out and find him right now. This this won't stand, Sam. Sam, you you have to do something. Uh, look, lady, I I just work here. I 
You're can responsible. I can I attempt to chop <sighs> the lady to calm uh, her down? Uh, yes, but you will require a hard success. A hard success. Okay, right. uh, her husband is missing. It's raining. This is not... Uh, you you can't just proper up some you know snake oil and and cure this. Is the umbrella? Oh, I am one shy of a hard success. Then you're like, go on. Then I'll spend the point of luck. All right, of luck. Uh, so. In that case, uh, she she does calm down a bit, uh, and and she's. Concentrating more on Sam than on you, Sam. He's out there without an umbrella. It's 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 spring outside. Going, an old man. You I'm have to have back, some compassion. I'm going back at, going back out. I turned to Sam. Sam, do you have a waterproof, a proof, a southwestern or some sort of ill weather gear? Um, you can go ahead and make a luck roll. Perhaps something you wear while you're pumping gas. So that will be rolling, and that will be a 52 out of 64. Yep, pass. Okay, excellent. Um, and uh, so, yes, he has uh, something. It's not not great, um, but it'll 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 work. Does the umbrella show any signs of? burning or that would indicate he was struck by lightning uh you can try to uh examine it if you like uh it would be a uh, spot hidden i leave it on the bar I'll, I'll leave it on the counter looks fine to me yeah i don't think it i mean it 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 looks almost like uh like it was crumpled or or stepped on obviously it's been stepped on and then you know uh, when one part was stepped on, it, you know, probably has like blunt force trauma type of uh, damage to it. You know. I mean, not like being struck by a car, I wouldn't say, but you know, maybe. Well, no, there's not much. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Struck by a car. <laughs> <clears throat> but no clear burn mark. In the quieter voice, I ex explain. I did step on it when I found it. But I can assure you, it was in no serviceable state. And I describe the ground around it being slightly lighter. Um, and roughly what I could make out in the darkness of the area around it before... Finally, noticing William isn't that. My, isn't that? My point is that if yeah. he was struck by lightning, the umbrella should show some kind of burn marks. If he merely dropped it in the night, and you stepped on it, that would, you know, show that the, this damage that has been done to it. Why would he have dropped it in the night, though? I, I don't know. I can assure you that man could hardly walk, let alone run. And let alone run through bush with no light source. But uh, so he may very well be wandering without an umbrella and a light out in the dark. I look around. Is there only one lan lantern? Just the one? Or yeah, uh, there's uh, there's just the one that they were able to to bring out and and, and let you guys see. One lantern and zero candles. <laughs> Zero candles. And 1d6 minus 1, we rolled a 1, candles. I turn to Sam. Sam. Sam, do you possess an electric torch in your garage or some sort of other lighting instrument? Uh, it, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, I have one. I'm not going out in the rain to get it. I'll wait till the rain dies down and then we can get Where it. Where is it? Um, go ahead and make a luck roll. Well, it, he'll he'll describe to you where it is, and he'll begrudgingly hand you keys. Okay, so luck roll. Well, you're gonna 
walk there first and we'll yeah. see how lucky you are when you're yep. there so um there's no luck roll to get to there that you're getting there that's absolutely fine the automobiles that we're driving actually have headlights yes it's not not a guaranteed thing in 1920 so i'm not sure but yeah well we'll say they do yes 100 percent. yeah perhaps, because they do describe that actually at the opening scene so perhaps we could start the cars and use the headlights to illuminate the uh area. but if you Yep, the car keys are, are currently with uh, William, but that's a good idea when he gets back, if he gets back. Well, our 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 our, 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 our car that ran me down, would, the keys yes. would not be with William. Uh, uh, William's car. Of course it would be with William. No, and I, he took his William, jacket William back. Did. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm confusing people. That's okay. Uh, so while we're confusing people, William, um, you're in the uh, you're in the environment or inside the privy of the outhouse. Um, I mean, how long are you there, spending so time there? And what are you doing? Yes, very little time. I can get there, see there's no one there. So well, there you go. That's all I can do. Turn around and go back to the diner again. All right, excellent. So yeah, so we'll just roll a, a navigate. Uh, you can have a bonus die on this one. How do we do the bonus die right now? I think it's a. Did the shift work or no? Shift. <laughs> oh my! That is a, that is quite unlucky. Um, <laughs> you hit uh, one B on the bottom left of the um, fancy glass. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like uh, like when we played. Uh, yeah, it's the level like twenty. You found. Yeah, plus you one B yeah. there. You have a two B, two bonus one die, B. one bonus okay. die, right? Okay. That's yeah. What that is. Yeah. Uh, and and so yeah. you you take a tumble. Um, you kind of, you, you, you got off the path maybe a bit, you take a tumble, you, you, you land hard in the mud, um, and, and go ahead and make me a spot hidden. Down like a British soccer player. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you see it. So, you know, when you come down hard and you're, you're kind of, you know, brushing off, the mud are getting up or, or just kind of on one knee. You see it off in the distance, not not far from you. Uh, almost like it it's followed almost uh, from where it was. But you do see a, a bright light quite, quite, uh, quite close to you. Um, it is, it, 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 it is fascinating. It's almost like kind of drawing you in and and i want you to make a um a pow roll please oh yeah, well there you go I'm, who am i to argue with the dice gods uh okay, okay. and it, it's kind of it, it it's it, you're you're kind of at this point mesmerized as you're watching it um you, Go ahead and, and make me a, uh, a luck roll. Okay, all right. Um, uh, just at that point, like, what are you doing while you're, describe to me what you're doing while you're mesmerized by this light that seems to be approaching. So, William's always being a rational man. Um, in every way, but he's always had this kind of like niggling sensation at the back of his head that what if it isn't his his mum his mother died at, at a young age and he's always had this kind of idea that she's kind of watching over them um, and his brother um, and talks to them through music and there's this kind of like desire this it, it, it wants to believe this kind of like past time certainty that there's nothing there but a, des but a, a desire for wanting it to be true and, and this feels like the first chink of something ethereal and outside of the world and he probably will kind of like stagger to, to his feet and, and almost like dragged on a beam to start to slowly walk towards it so and, and hear, hearing, hearing, hearing the music in of mm -hmm. gymnopathy in his head as he does probably car headlights and you should try and dodge probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as, as you kind of you're, you you have this kind of like reverie going on and you're hearing this this music from your childhood in your head it slowly seems to 
distort and turn into something like you say otherworldly it distorts it's it, it's not the same memories you're not going to be able to hear that it's almost like this music has been uh soured for you now because you're hearing it in, in different tones that don't make any sense to you uh and all of a sudden a a flash of lightning comes like relatively close to you actually it just like it just comes down and you you feel the ground shaking you feel the boom and you hear the boom uh, um uh, of the thunder and as the lightning crashes down you wake up from your reverie and you're just outside in the rain on your knees your hands and knees in the mud kind of woken up like like there's nothing there now I see the diner where I am. Uh, yeah, you can continue. It can make a, a spot hidden to see if you hear the... Um, if you do During see the lightning the... flash, everything's not illuminated? Yeah, yeah. perhaps during the lightning Ooh. flash, everything did get illuminated for sure. Um, Absolutely not. That excellently could, could have happened. Um, uh, and, and you're able... It's taking you some time um, you know, because you know, you're being very careful not to trip over any branches that might be fallen or, or tree roots <coughs> along the way, but you're making your way back, uh, towards the diner. You're pretty sure in the right direction. Uh, and with that, Sebastian, you, you get into the, um, to the, uh, the petrol station. Uh, you're fumbling with the keys to open the door. Everything in here is completely dark. It's on the same power lines as would be um the um the diner you do get the smell of petrol in the air it's it's rather heavy uh very very heavy smell of petrol um and 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 grime uh, as you as you you come into the the station it's it's it, it's dirty and and dusty and um what is it that you're doing Following the directions to the to the torch, I would expect. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm guessing. So, um, I am um, once for a moment lost in my in my own thoughts, and then head towards the direction of the torch. All right. Um, the yeah. So uh, you're you're heading towards uh, the 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 back area. Uh, and um, I want to make this fair. Um, would you prefer a uh, luck roll? Uh, or would you prefer a navigate roll? Uh, or any, or even a track roll? What would you prefer? Well, my luck is 64. My navigation is 15. And track is at base. So, okay. look, it will be then. As you wish. And we are rolling, and we have a 17. Oh, excellent. Okay, so um, despite the fact that you're not taking any sort of illumination out there, as you kind of try to navigate around here, there's enough light uh, that you can see that where you were directed to go towards the back of the garage, there there is a large uh, dugout pit that you miss falling into directly. And, and you know, that, that would simply be the pit for, you know, when the car goes over that area, people would be working underneath uh, the car. Uh, so it's kind of this just narrow, uh, shallow pit area where people can comfortably work under the car. You completely miss that. And you do get to the back where there is a cabinet. Um, and uh, when you open up the cabinet, you notice there's a plethora of tools there. Uh, old, heavy tools, and you do make it, and you do find the um, the flashlight, the torch uh, in question. Now, I asked you to hold off on a luck roll, correct? Yes. And now's the time to make it. Okay. Um, Reroll a 24 out of 60, so pass. All right, uh, the torch actually is is functional. The batteries or power source of whatever it has in it is is actually currently working, and so you have, um, you know, 
probably what would be the equivalent of uh, 10 watts of, uh, of light power, uh, you know, from the 1920s, uh, hitting this, uh, this torch and, and illuminating the area in front of you. I test it and wave, wave it about the garage, garage for, a, for a few seconds before turning it off and putting it into my Oh, at this point, you're probably going to use it to navigate around yeah. this dark area, I would imagine. Yeah. So, so test it, work my way back to the door. Yeah. Um, turn it off, put it in my pocket as I step outside. Okay. I know roughly the routes towards the facilities. So I'm going to use the torch sparingly to make my way back. If I'm sure, pausing, take it out, quick bearings, back, humming to myself. And as soon as I get closer to the facilities, I start calling out William's name. Or okay. with, with extra adjectives to encourage him. Yes, I understand it. Uh, so uh, uh, it, um, that's fine. And... Uh, as you do that, we'll head back uh, to William as you enter back into the cafe. Um, I mean, everybody notices you are completely drenched. There was no umbrella, but you are also muddy and dirty. And uh, it looks like you've just been, um, you know, you, you've, you've just taken a tumble or, or had a scuffle with somebody out there. I couldn't find him. Clearly not if a man. Else wants to have a look. <laughs> not a man of action. I did everything I could. But what do you mean you couldn't find him? Where could he have gone? Jake, th 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 this you is... obviously must be able to do better than this lawyer. Oh my god, my my teddy! Oh no, what's happened to my teddy? I mean, just it, it can't be. Somebody's got to do something. Did you really go? Where, where did you look for him? Why, what do you mean you can't find him? He's going to catch the death of him outside. Closet. It's so cold. I went to the outhouse and he wasn't there. I mean, where else do you want me to look? But I, em Amelia hops to her feet in a, in a bit of a, of, of a, a fury with this ineffectual uh, suit. And uh, she marches to, over to the door and just starts yelling out the door for, uh, for the major. Yelling, I did yelling, that. yelling out the door, you know, Major, please, please come to help us. Well, it's useless. <laughs> I obey the lady. I turn back round. Uh, well, let's see if you could hear it. Let's make a listen roll. Okay. Because listen. Uh, as, as Amelia is going out and starting to shout, she appears to stop shouting dead in her tracks as... She's going to receive another message and is, is considering now um, what she is remembering. Secret messages from the keeper, never a good sign. Oh, wait. Only he can type faster. Yeah, I tell you, it's not, it's not right that it's not. Let's try this again. Because... It is completely the wrong. Right, let's try that again. Um, nope, still not there. OK, yeah, I go saw, ahead. I saw a little speech bubble in red appear in FGU. But no tax. Yeah, there, there's yeah, because it uh, didn't. Um, it's they not taking again. Me. I, don't know yeah, what I know. Is. I tried to click on it. That's fine. I'm uh, I'm trying to copy paste the text, and it's just not. I'm gonna try it one more time. Go sideways to uh, um, text messaging if you want. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, and so uh, the what? How is the listen roll, uh, Sebastian? Listen roll was I can't read that because that's cocked. The roll again. Listen roll wasn't a nice eleven out of twenty. 
Wow. Which, as we discussed in the chat earlier, and everybody's welcome to join us on our Discord channel for that, would be considered a critical success if we were playing Delta Green. So, <laughs> Indeed. So. Which is... Um, so you do cursed. kind of hear something faint. You hear some faint uh, shout from kind of the area, but it seems to get cut off like just... Like, it, it was almost like uh, you, you heard something like, Man! And then just gets cut off as almost like somebody was shouting something and lost their train of thought or something. I turn around and turn the flashlight on mm -hmm. and aim it at the di diner because the I know from the angle I can't see. Anything, right, but you can... Yeah, you can set, certainly make a um, um, a navigate roll with two bonus die for sure. Okay. Okay. So two bonus. Okay, so roll bait and two bonus. <laughs> I make, <laughs> I make that with an odd seven. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, you you know where it is. You get there in the least amount of time it would take from wherever you are to wherever uh, the the diner is, depending on how far you got out while you were looking. Is there anything you're doing on your way back? Um, uh, I've got the flashlights. I can't. There's no. And there's no sign of Teddy on on either side of the footpath. Um, you can make a spot hidden. Okay, I'll make a spot hidden, which is twenty three out of sixty. So I pass. Yep, you don't see any any sign of uh, of, of Teddy on the way. <sighs> and we'll stop there. Um, while you seem to be, you heard that you stop mid, put your flashlight on. Um, and let's head back into the diner. Has anyone seen those white lights out in the woods? Well, I can uh, see a light right now over by the garage. At the at the mention of white lights, Jake goes, "You see, Sam, I told you." There's, that's what caused me to get off the road. There was a bright light. You didn't believe me? I told you there was a bright light. Yeah, it's like, uh, that's that's why my jack, truck jackknife, you know, and kind of, uh, I guess, uh, you know, frigging hell. It's, it's like um, Sam will, will kind of, you know, out of eye shot or eyesight of, of, of Jake kind of go. No, but, but but there is. There's 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 white lights out out in the woods. Like, is there like a power plant or or something nearby? Or uh, uh, there's nothing around here. A power plant, a white lights. Yeah, yeah. Jake's talked about the bright light, but yeah, Jake talks about seeing a lot of things. If you know what I mean, I'm telling you, the white light was there. That's why my I, truck is in the middle of the road. I, I I saw a white light too, twice actually. Once coming in here, it was it was on that side of the the building, and I once. In front of uh, that side of the, the building, through through the woods. Um, uh, it's almost like it's circling us. Uh, well, uh, whatever it is, I mean, I'm more worried, Jake. Uh, the, this is uh, Sam. I'm way, way, way more worried now about, uh, about this weather, uh, anything than bright lights. Probably a oncoming truck or something that you must have saw bright light. Uh, I haven't seen any bright lights around here. Uh, Emilia uh, uh, appears to like swoon at the door and kind of grow faint as she she has some flashbacks of memories and uh, suddenly some some things are coming clearer when she stood out in the rain and, and was yelling for the for the major, but. Uh, um, I, I, I was in the street, in the road because my, uh, my grandfather was, was ill, was, was, was ailing and I was trying to get help. 
Uh, we need to get back there uh, as soon as we can. And you didn't think to put a coat on first? I ran out uh, looking for help as soon as I could. I, I, I don't, I honestly don't remember too much of the of the facts, but he's definitely sick and and uh, and 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 ailing and needs help immediately. Um, go ahead, both of you, and make me spot hiddens. Both of whom? Uh, both uh, characters that are currently in the scene, William and Amelia. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Well, nothing. Everything's hidden. Nothing. Okay. Seen. Very good. All right. So everything is uh, everything is fine. We're all good. Good to know. Um, well, I, I reiterate my first. Well done, lawyer. Them. Does anyone have any medical experience in this data? No. Well, I'm sure I'm, the major has some first aid experience. We need to get him to my grandfather as soon as possible. Well, he's lost, isn't he? He went up to the toilet and he hasn't come back yet. I can see the flashing flashlight in the distance. What does that mean? What does that have to do with anything? You see the light? The I'm light sure is coming back. And at that, Jake gets, we got to get out of here. What that light? There's I'm a light. Sure, and and sure you see him kind of start back. shaking. And, and, and he seems to get very excited when you're mentioning the light. It's like, we're, we're, that, it was so bright. What? And, and he looks goes and goes, that, that's, that's not the white light. Oh God! It's you yellow scared a person. Were you looking to start a fight, Amelia? You're trying to you you want to get me all riled up? Is that what you're trying to do? Talk about white light, trash talk, and stuff like that. I mean, we know that that oh, this is driver. <laughs> Don't talk to your betters that way. <laughs> I I dare say your uncle, your grandfather eats the hogs that I that I that I that I bring up. Uh, there, where you think you're getting our meat from? Yeah, you should have more respect for the local producers in your community. Only he doesn't say that in such fine language. I just can't dumb it down enough. <laughs> so, so could you could you find your way back to her grandfather's house then if you deliver if you deliver meat to him? Uh, no, he doesn't deliver meat to him. He sells meat to him. But the, and, and Amelia knows. We where it is now. To, She's we remembering. We my grandfather's house from this from this darling couple. They told us where where we live. You 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 remember where you live now. You're down the road. There's a cutoff to the right. right. Down the road, you're you gonna, fools. You're gonna be you there. You're about, where you ran yeah. me down with the car? Exactly. How Very far good. could I have possibly run in my night shift? No, you were kind of bluish. I I old. need the name the major. Where's the major? He's a man of action, not a man of bureaucracy. Major. Well, we, I went. At, I went out to find him, and he wasn't there. So he so, actually got lost somewhere in the woods. Useless. Major. Major at this point, yeah. you hear hysterical screaming for you. What are you going to do? I'm sorry. Being the gallant gent, gent, gentleman, I cautiously make my way to. Ah, you are not rushing. Okay, well, you know how this game is played then. <laughs> In that case, it takes you some time, but you get there successfully without having to make right. any rolls whatsoever for uh, perhaps stripping and falling in the mud and, and perhaps seeing things. Who knows? Uh, yes. we don't Congratulations on your excellent Roman playing ship. <laughs> so... Um, so, yeah, uh, at this point, uh, I mean, he's not he's not back yet, um, but you are almost like feeling compelled. What are you doing at this point? Who? Amelia, you, you're oh, like, I'm uh, looking for the major. you're, 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 you're almost you're, you're, you're almost ready, like you're getting on the jacket on and just if, leaving. If I, if I see anything of the major, I throw myself into his arms uh, and, and at his mercy for his aid. Okay, so you know what to move. We'll start. We'll say that the major does come back uh, in in an okay amount of time. That it kind of but you're just very agitated now. Everybody sees that Amelia is agitated. Clearly, she feels that her her grandfather is in great in danger. Emotions. Perhaps had a heart attack or something. Doesn't really remember. Um, but uh, certainly now that uh, Sebastian has joined the group, he can make a spot hidden. Okay, Rory's spot hidden, which I make with a four, or just about make with a 45. 
Excellent. So, well, is that just about make, or is that you make? Oh, uh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, six, 60 spot hidden so far. Oh, fair. That, that, that's fine. Um, you know, Mary, Mary begins to, to, to fidget now. She sees she's wringing her hands. She's looking quite quite nervous. Uh, like, Dart, at, 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 at Amelia, she's looking at Amelia with, with a lot of uh, concern. Uh, and, and she's saying, but, but it's this weather, surely this weather is too dangerous for you to be traveling in, Amelia. Uh, wouldn't you Wouldn't you prefer to stay here and wait it out? Your, your grandfather's a doctor, after all. We'll, we'll die. We'll die if we don't get to him shortly. <laughs> well, isn't he rather elderly at this point in any case? I mean, do you think there's any chance if he was suffering a heart attack? Is there any reason for you to endanger yourself and any of these good people here Father, in, in a few... Can you? You're elderly as well. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, maybe it's not so wise to be traveling out in this in this. We must save him. Weather. He is the only doctor in the neighborhood. You, um, Sebastian, you, 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 didn't see, you didn't see Teddy on your travels, did you? No. Man. Yeah, and you, you, that you is both... the situation. I mean, we find ourselves in the situa in situations here. I, I'm, I'm going to walk there back, back to, the, to the house if I have to, to the manor. All right. You, you see that as, as, as that. First of all, you see that Amelia is not dressed in her night clothes anymore. She's dressed uh, normally and in, well, in normally in in ramshackle clothes that seem to fit, if not fit properly. Um, but she's more prepared for the weather. Right well, not necessarily. There's still only two out of three jackets, uh, which I believe she has. Uh, hey. Which jacket do you have? Jake, will your truck run? Can you get me back to the manor? Uh, my my truck is stuck. We're gonna have to have to pull it out of there, and uh, I'm not going out in this weather. Not for nobody. Not God. for you. Not for Doctor Webb. Major, you're a man of action. Schmeb. Major, you're a man of action. You, you you must have some kind of military experience with medicine. You have can we, help. Have we given up? Have we given up on finding Teddy now? Are we just writing him off? No, no, you can't give up on my Teddy. What am I going to do without I my Teddy? My he could be out there dying of exposure now. I hold my hands up for calm. But it appears we are in a devil's pen. We have Teddy that is missing. And maybe his grandfather that needs care. <sighs> there is only so. There is only the two of us. Well, the two of us that are. That have practical skills to help. So. I have looked for Teddy. I do not know what has happened to him and it concerns me that is putting it mildly and now I'm told Amelia's grandfather requires medical help we have a torch at least we, we have a torch the whole teddy thing If if we take the car, me and William take the car to deliver Amelia to her house, we drive back, we put the car facing the woods with the headlights on to act as a beacon, and we can search more for Teddy. Meantime, Jake can take the torch and have a look in the woods. Well, we got. He could do that. <laughs> or... I, I, I ain't going out nowhere in this weather. Uh... Jake, Jake, or you could, or you could help Stuart and Mrs. Ted, Mrs. Teddy turn their cars. Stuart, who's woods. Stuart? Sam. Oh, Sam, yes. Sam, 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 Sam. <laughs> Sam, you can help Sam move his car and Mrs. Teddy's car to face the woods and turn the headlights on. So at least he has a beacon to return. We will deliver Amelia to her grandfather's house, render what aid, and we will come back and search for Teddy. Per yes, Sam. Perhaps, Sam, go ahead, do that. Perhaps we could take 
five minutes to all of us together go outside in a line and do a circle around the diner and see if we can find Teddy. Well, that will mean walk, walk, walking in a line and and and, and um, do a lap around the around the diner to try and find some evidence of Teddy before we we run off to my grandfather's. With only two light sources, I would rather put the cars into position first, and then at least we, have that set up and ready. We could put the cars out. in position first, and then do a, a lap around the diner with the lights on, so it's more than two. The lantern and the torch, so we don't. But we have so we put five, five or six people here. I forget the count, but if we all string out in the line where we can all see each other, so nobody gets lost in the dark, and I think that the and the and the, the ground the, is the ground is sort of perilous as well. Of uh, taking a tumble once or twice out there. It's not a cliff, you stupid lawyer. It's a grass, you know. Out, uh, I mean, I, mean, I mean, come on. I hold my hands up. Okay. Skirmish line. Everyone inside. Sight of each. Each, uh, each other. Lighting from the car. Lighting from the cars. Sam. Get ready. Where are your car keys? Get ready to move your car. Uh, God damn it. And, you know, you see that he's... Begrudgingly, he's taking his time. He's he's you know bundling himself up, getting an extra you know man. sweater. It's putting you know the yeah, jacket man. on. He's he's doing it. But I got, I'll get there. I'll get my Wait. car. I'll turn the lights on and aim them towards the uh, Jake. Get the, the, mm, you don't want to talk to me, Jake. You have what? Two options: sit in the dark or Five minutes discomfort mm -hmm. to move Mrs. Teddy's car into position so we can have the lights. Um, Jake, are you a man or a child? Clearly, clearly the major has proposed something useful here. Uh, yeah, Jake will, uh, you know, regretfully get up. That'll shut you all up. Um, and um, as uh, as he's. Uh, he 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 goes to um, uh, he he goes to uh, Winfred and and says to her, "I'll uh, nobody accuses me of being a child and not a man. Give me the keys to the car. I'll uh, turn her around and get it set up." <clears throat> and uh, uh, Winfred goes, "But but but Teddy has the keys to the car." <laughs> with that he goes ah, well there you go I tried and you see he just kind of goes back and sits down <laughs> so Sam it's all on you now there you go Sam big man you're the man I'm child go do it alright um, at this point though Amelia seems to be uh, you know quite agitated uh, heading she's she's heading towards towards the car she's She's heading towards William's uh, William's car. She's heading towards there. That she's not waiting for anything except to go to help her grandfather. At this point, I turn to Sam. Sam, do you know how to start a car without a key? Uh, so I turn to Sam, point at him, said, "Do you know how to start a car without a key?" I, I, I'm, you know, given enough time with my tools and proper lighting, uh, I can, you know, maybe do it. Uh, I really just pump the gas here and manage it. I'm not the... And I... I'll get my car. My car will have the lights shining there and, you know, and yeah, yeah. And you can see, like, now he's, like, talking in a way maybe that he doesn't even believe himself. Oh, I'll get the car lights on, and then uh, Teddy will be able to see the car lights, and come towards the car lights. Everything will be fine. Yeah, Here, pass me the flashlight so I can get to my car. There are, no, three, no, there no, are no. three cars right now, right? Our car, uh, Teddy's car, and Jake's truck. Uh, Jake's truck is kind of stuck and in the wrong Jake's direction. Jake's truck is stuck in the wrong We still have two yeah. other cars, Teddy's car and our car. Teddy's okay. has Teddy's no keys. keys. 
yeah. that we're using sack. Uh, yeah, but yeah, and, and you have and you have like you know we'll say that uh, there is an extra car on the map that's right beside uh, the uh, garage. So we'll say that's either a car that's uh, currently there to be fixed or it's uh, going to be Sam's car and it will have lights that will function that Sam can turn on and head towards, you know. And, so and I, kind of, I point to point to Mar point to Mary. Mary, you stay with, with Wilfred with the lan lantern and Je Jake. I took okay. um, as I push Sam gently towards the door, gently yeah, towards it, it the door takes to, get that. to get the yeah. movie. I turned to Maria, lock the door behind us. Yeah. And, and, and with that, push everyone out uh -huh. and get them moving. Okay. So uh, what, what you have is, is Mary, uh, you know, as you, you kind of hear you, Mary, uh, you know, mustering uh, about as much compassion as a uh, wet lizard uh, is, is, you know, uh, see, you know, going and saying uh, to, to Winford, there, there, you see, well, we'll find when we'll find Teddy. Teddy will be fine. He'll come as you guys uh, step out. And um, Sam is heading towards his car uh, or the car you near know, the garage and is going to shine the lights, which is kind of, you know, uh, anybody okay. seeing the lights will know that, you know, there's something in that direction. What are you three doing? Well, I know what I, I, I know what Amelia is doing. She's either heading towards the car. Uh, or if nobody's car. heading towards the car to head back to if we're uh, not, her grandfather's house, then she's walking. Really, if we're not taking action to find Teddy, I'm heading towards the car. I was fair, we, we, we drive a walking pace anyway, so it's kind of really, it's just dry up. So. I'm taking William, somebody else's car. I'm not walking. William, go to the, go to the car with Amelia. Fine, uh, fine, fine. You fine. have the keys. We'll I'll go. I'll guide yep. Sam to his with the torch. Make sure he's, he's in position. Tell him also to honk his horn if, you, if he has a horn on it for a few times, as well as his lights. To do that, uh, to stay there till we return. Then I'll make my way to our car with... with, with All right, video. and so, yeah, as you do that... You can hear the rain is is coming down outside as you are all outside now. Oh, it's getting worse. It, it is getting worse. It's 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 still pouring. You guys, as soon as you step out without an umbrella, your your clothes get drenched. Any ah. any clothes, any time that you spent in there that uh, that promoted any drying of the clothes whatsoever, like all that drying is is all erased. They're 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 completely soaked. Okay, right. Just rush off to the rush to the car then. Just okay, you rush to the car. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, make a luck roll. I it's saw raining. Him, uh, yeah. loudly and say he wouldn't survive passion down. I move. I move at a leisurely pace towards the car, proving a point. No, uh, yeah, no, you are equally wet. Uh, the car doesn't seem to be turning over. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Idiot, Shipley! Kick it. Was <laughs> turn up to any other. Uh, what do you do now? What did you do now, uh, William? I mean, it wasn't how. I don't know. The car didn't work. It, 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 the engine's got flooded or something. I, I all, the, all the water's got into it. I get him out of the car seat and I get in there since I have sports car experience and I can I can get this car started. Ooh. Oh, well, hang on, William. How are you reacting to this? Yeah, we went... <clears throat> oh, I, guess I, I leave them mean, to it. It wasn't any back. quicker. How, how, how long was it? Was it like five minutes, ten minutes since we um, picked her up? Or how long was it on foot? I'm sorry? Well, we were, we were driving at walking pace anyway. So how long well, was it for us? Uh, it, it would have been, uh, it's, it's about a mile, which is about, let's say a 15 minute walk to the, oh. to the junction. You don't know how far from there by walking. Uh, um, I guess try and turn the car over again. Uh, you're going to try it again. It, it won't succeed with your life. Try okay. the same thing over and over again. You stupid man. Literally, how you do this <laughs> cars and the chokes and everything. But fine. Okay, fine, fine. You you know cars. You have a look at the car. You have a look at it. 
All right. So what are you doing that's any different? Um, I rub the dashboard. I talk to the car. Um, <laughs> I convince it that it's probably should in its best interest to uh, to run. And I lean heavily on my luck score. Okay, <laughs> you, you you attempt to coax it with the uh, charm with, the car with charm. All right, we'll allow a, a, a luck roll on that, perhaps. Uh... Oh. oh, this this car is not it's not starting with with those uh, okay, those okay, okay. Things, anyways. Um, we'll pause, okay, we'll, let's, we'll pause, does um, Sebastian have mechanical repair at all? Um, I have it at base. No, okay. Say, did he have uh, electrical repair at all? <laughs> all right. Uh, well, so maybe, uh, maybe we can do we can push it. Yes. We could, we could, we could push it. I mean, do the lights still work in the car? Um, make a luck roll. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, I, just spend on I like where this is going. Oh, uh, no, the luck doesn't even. <laughs> Maybe the battery is. Uh, did they have batteries back yeah. then? I don't know. Yeah. Right. Well, they had batteries, yeah. Really? Well, they had to. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Can I so, can yeah. I listen to the engine and possibly diagnose what's going wrong? Oh, you diagnose what's going wrong. This car is a piece of crap compared to what you're used to. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> it's it's not. It's, oh, we the wolf. Uh, uh, all right. We just have to walk. Okay. Uh, it's so. for peasants. Yeah, walk. Well, well, at the moment, unfortunately, we are peasants. Major, start this car. Walking is is miserable as you guys um, head on on the side of the road. At least the road is enough of a road still, and the trees are kind of densely packed that you're able to actually not miss where the turnoff is. So you're actually able to get to um, to find where the turnoff is. It's too disorienting for you to know where. You may have hit Amelia and where this is now. Uh, you're not in the car. It's a completely different experience um, doing this on foot. Um, and you get to, to a, uh, a, a kind of a, a, a path that is wide enough for a car and well-maintained enough for a car um, to go. But, but you guys seem to be on foot. Uh, and everybody can make me a spot hidden roll. Spot hidden roll. I pass with a 17. Nope. I pass. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, Amelia, despite the fact that you're focused on getting um, to the... The lawyer. Uh, to, your, to your grandfather, to your home, basically, um, where you live, you're now remembering a much nicer room than... Let's say that that large hall with many hospital beds that you originally were remembering earlier on today. Um, imagining now a much nicer home. And as you're walking there, um, you know, it, both you and um, and uh, Sebastian see again, uh, like as you're turning, like you turned in, it's just like kind of the from the flash of your eye, you saw a bright light or something coming all the way towards the northeast, you know, in the area kind of where you saw, where you have the diner and where you have the um, uh, the the repair shop, the petrol station, a very, very, very bright light. Like it's, it's you know, the, the lights of the, um, of, of the station, I mean, they're obviously so, off because there was I mean, a blackout the before. The light is very close by. It's no, I'm saying it's very far. Line. It's far off. You're you're about fifty. You're about a mile down the road. Does um, it look like artillery? Um, it, to you, it just looks like this stationary light that just appeared. Very bright light in your estimation, close proximity to the diner. Uh, you don't think that you would have seen fluorescent lights of the diner sign from here to where it was, even if the electricity was on. But you clearly see a very bright light kind of, a, you know, in the distance, very sharp needle point of light in that direction. There's a bright light to the northeast and the grandfather surgeon, my house is to the south somewhere. Uh, now it is to the west somewhere, and I'll I'll go ahead and I'll yes, I'll. 
there are, I'll bring there up, are generally I'll bring up the map, the bright light, and the and where I believe my house is to be. Yeah. Now, have Can you, I, uh, as uh, Sebastian, you've seen the bright light before, right? Yes. Yes, Can you I, saw it once before. So it's that same color. It's just obviously at a way further distance now, but it is that same color, that same characteristic. Is um, the, but I, is I'm the, direction between where my grandfather is and where this bright light is. They are in opposite directions, more or less, right now. Um, well, yeah, you've you yeah exactly yeah you're you're a hundred percent. It's in a different direction. Uh, I'm going to go ahead actually, and I'll bring up that uh, kind of the the map since you've walked around the area, you know a little bit more about where you guys are. Um, let me see if I can find the right acid for that uh, for us. All right, and um, unfortunately, the person that developed this module didn't develop the players' versions of the maps, but that's okay that we can all see this for now. I'll just kind of get that in a place where we can see that. So um, you could see generally, uh, uh, let me share this with everybody. All right. Um, so you could see in generally where the woods, uh, where the woods are. Uh, you could see uh, where the Orchard Run gas station and diner is. Uh, you guys are just about like inside here, let's say on the path. I don't know if I can ping it. I would have to probably put an arrow. So I'll put an arrow where you guys are now and which way you're heading. So you're kind of there-ish okay. as you as you see, as you saw the light in that direction. And where do I believe my grandfather's manor is? Uh, you believe it is, and this is where you have a decision to make. You believe it is where number three is located, and you would know that. So your choice is, are you going to head through the woods and beeline towards it, or are you yes. going to follow the road? Obviously, you've never done are walking we in a, around in these woods. Are we in a car right now, or are we on foot? You are on okay. foot. You would never in a car, obviously, go through the woods, but um, mm -hmm. it is an option for you now. You know where the house is. You're on the trail. Clearly, this is, is time sensitive, so I think we're going to head through the woods, hopefully, bearing on my, my knowledge of my grandfather's estate and, uh, and go through the woods. All right. Uh, so as we ignore the uh, bright right, light major. in the distance... Um, I'm, I have paused. We will go back to the store. The lightning. As I see the bright light, I just wait to see if I hear a crackle of lightning or see a flash of lightning. Lightning makes no sound, Major. Thunder. Clearly, you are not a man of science. Thunder makes noises. Well, let's see if we hear some. Let's get some sound on there. Um, there, there is clearly thunder in the area. Um, you're not seeing any bright lightning just now. As a matter of fact, but you do see the lights. Are you? How long are you going to, uh, you know, just kind for of a watch few for? Just for a few seconds before turning right. to. So in that case, go ahead and make me a hard luck roll. Okay. So a hard luck roll would be half. Okay. So be. I got a twenty-seven. Which is half, half as 27, half as yep. six. Yeah, pass. Okay, half. and, and then I, I will say yes. Um, you, you do see a crackle of lightning or do, you know, somewhere in the sky at the distance uh, and, and you notice the white light disappears. Or, or just maybe it comes so small or something. Maybe. I say, I say out loud, every time that light has appeared, I've seen it. There's been lightning following it. I see nothing out. So if we're turning to, you want to go through the woods or f follow the path to your grandfather's house? Uh, well, on foot, the uh, the path through the woods is much shorter. And no path through the woods, it's just woods. 
Well, yeah, it's no path. It's just taking a track through the woods is 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 half the time of, of following the road. Um, it's also a little bit hilly, so you're going to be going up a hill and then down yeah. a hill. That's why the road it's, actually it's meanders and goes around. Walk up and down a hill. I'm sorry. I'm not a lawyer. I can walk up and down a hill. Yes, you could. You certainly can. So you're There's nothing start like a night, night trudge off the in that direction. Um, I'm going to give you a, a navigate roll with two bonus die. Uh, and uh, because you, you know, somewhat familiar with the area and stuff. Um, you're giving whom a navigate roll? Uh, a, well, you're leading on. So then it would be Amelia, two bonus die, navigate roll. And if you have the base 20, we will accept um, a success is 20 or under. And 11 is enough. Uh, so yeah, you're able to walk and, and bypass whether it's safe you time or not as you're going uphill and downhill and being careful, uh, not to, um, you know, not to, uh, fall in any of the, uh, obstacles that are along the way, uh, rush and stuff. You're able to, that's a, that's a, uh, a very good role in any case. You're able to get, you know, towards, Just, uh, the entrance uh, of the house. In the interest of being fair, my navigate is ten. Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, no, I know yeah. that. That's fine. Yeah, couple. Yes, uh, you know the area, um, yeah. and and a navigate roll would be ten, whether you know it or not. So I just bumped it up to twenty okay. with a couple of bonus times. So, um, for story's sake and game role playing and stuff, we're solid. We're good. We're good. Um, all right. Uh, so you know, I, I'm gonna you know both. Uh, William and Sebastian, you see Amelia, like, just stomp off into the dark, going towards the woods, into the woods. That's like, way, you stupid men! What do you guys do? I guess we follow her. That's up to you. You have a road. No, no, I've seen nothing take a road, no. We'll, we'll follow through the woods. So. But, I've already so, lost uh, one person. Cautious. <laughs> one person in the woods. I don't want to make it two. A hundred percent. Okay. I don't want to lose one right in my shoes. It's mud. Well, I have a torch. I'll take care of you, Shipley. Just come after me in the woods. All right. Uh, fair enough. So as you guys are walking, um, everybody go ahead and make me luck rolls as you're walking. Oh, no. Standard luck or? Just standard luck, yeah. Ninety-eight. Yeah, well, okay. that's funny. Oh, ninety-eight's got to be good. Yeah, ninety-eight is is very good. However, it is too shy of a critical failure because well, I don't know 50. how. Yeah, fifty percent luck. I'm, if it works the same way as regular skills do, then it would have been a hundred. That would have been the critical failure. But you're going to get extra punished for uh, definitely getting a ninety-eight. Uh, but before we do, uh, you know, dole out um, extra events that happen, uh, Sebastian, what did you get? 27 out of 64. All right. So um, you are... are the lawyer are, is lost in the woods. You are happily <laughs> following Amelia. Um, uh, but unfortunately, William, you <laughs> slip and fall uh, again into the woods. You, you, you tripped over something. And when you get up, it doesn't seem like they're anywhere close to you now like you don't know which way where you are what you're doing but i'm wearing dark clothing so they don't see me yeah. black suit black guy do i notice he's disappeared uh go ahead and make me a luck roll Emilia is storming towards the, the manor and she's yeah. afraid nope i've got no, so, so you just you just didn't pay attention to it at the time I mean, it's it's. You zoom on behind. I'm half. So I left behind. Not tonight. Um. So go ahead and uh. Well, well, you know, look. Let's, William. You're out. It's cold. It's raining. You're alone. You're stuck in the middle of these woods. This hilly. This hill top. What are you you doing? You're alone. I mean, I know that we were going uphill. Mm -hmm. So I guess I keep going uphill. And I know there's a road at some stage over there. So if I keep going up a hill, I should be going in roughly the same direction and then come out on the road. That's what I'm thinking. Um, okay, very good. If that's all you're doing, uh, you know, 
You have a voice. You decide to just drop off on your own. You're not going to dig well, yourself I'm to start to shouting for help I mean, or I anything. I, I understand that. That's all good. Like, I, I, I could call, but it's still exactly. hammering down with rain. Yes, exactly. Here, isn't it? Right, 100%. So you'll you'll just come up. That That's all fine. So that's uh, that's very good. Um, so as you, you, you're, you're kind of coming up, the others are, are making their way down. Um, we're going to say that... Um, Well, yeah. let me see if I can get the uh, the proper description for you. So, Mr. Shipley. Um, so, uh, let's see what the outside of the door is. Um, so, both um, Amelia. And Sebastian, uh, you can kind of you've 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 crested over your 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 down towards the bottom of the hill. You could see the house, like kind of in the distance. And I mean, as you see the house, you do you're rushing forward. And Sebastian, you made your luck roll. You also um, are following through at a at a at a at a, at a pace. Um, and uh, what you notice is. Uh, somebody sneaking behind me, removing the green screen, no doubt to <laughs> tell me something very important. So let's let's see what's going on here. Shalom, Hello. Yeah, I wanted to say bye. I made it. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, there we go, and family first. So we have uh, we've established, even though we're playing Call of Cthulhu, which is an immensely dark game, we are really just pleasant home people after all. <laughs> and and, and speaking of natures. which, I think I think I am going to need to drop off at midnight. Well, that's uh, coincidentally enough. Uh, realizing that it is close to midnight, the final scene uh, mm -hmm. before we do head off is. Um, Amelia and Sebastian noticing like from the distance, the front door is banging open and closed like it's Ajar. flapping in the wind and the rain. There is darkness uh, beyond. Um, uh, both make me spot hidden rolls. No windows are lit at the uh, at the manor? Nope, not that you could see. You could both make a spot hidden roll as you see this. I have no skills in spot hidden. 48 out of 60. 36 uh, okay. out of 35. You could spend one of your luck to succeed. Uh, sure, I'll spend a, I'll spend a luck point. Okay. Uh, you both notice a discarded crowbar towards the entrance of the house. And as Amelia, and you could, either one of you could take it, that's fine. Um, Amelia, as you kind of step towards the threshold, going into the house, um, what Sebastian notices that Amelia crumples to the floor. Um, what Amelia experiences is a the following vision. Um, and so let me just get that in there. Um, and I will actually also read Mr. this Mr. out. Mr. Ridgeway, grab that crowbar. So, You're a man of action. As as you do you thrust the threshold, you're thrusting yourself in quickly. You collapse, and, and in your head, you hear the sound of the shotgun going off. Um, you see your uncle getting hit in the shoulder and falling down. Certainly not a fatal wound, but there are thieves in your home and they are robbing you and your uncle at gunpoint. You hope you are not too late. 